Hey, what's going on guys? It's Dastlo here and today I'm going to be showing you, um, I guess just tips, you know, I'm going to show you my team, I'm going to show you what's been going on with my team and all that, and I haven't been posting that much because I haven't been really playing the game, I've just been doing whatever, I mean, I did just win a Super Bowl in this game with this team, and I'm just going to show you that, and I'm going to show you how I got most of my players on this team, so I did spend 100 bucks, if you didn't go see that video, go down below on my YouTube channel, go watch it, you'll see it down there, it's like the last video I uploaded I think $100 pack opening, insanely good pulls, got 600k out of it, plus Aaron Donald, so like 800k, a million coins pretty much. So solos to do, in my opinion, level challenges, when you get my level 50, finish all of them. You need to get that Andre Johnson all the way maxed up. When you complete the level challenges, you get Andre Johnson fully maxed up, believe me. NFL Epics, if you do not pay in this game, do these now. The two, three most important ones, Adrian, Ronnie Lott, Jack Youngblood, Larry Fitzgerald is a good starter but 83 speed is not good like at all like it's horrible but you do get uh i guess that 80 plus nat player if you want to grind that out if you have nothing else to do but yeah, i'd probably do if you don't have a running back ap first jack Youngblood, then running a lot running a lot's always cold madden of course after that go to the rivals rivals is probably actually what you want to do first i do rivals yeah i do rivals first because then you get a ton of gold players um you get the you know the free 85 overall player the last pack you get, you gotta go in the store and buy it, just saying. But yeah, you can also get some crazy stuff down there. So do those first, Rivals, then do probably the NFL Epics, then level challenges, in, in your case. So those are mainly the challenges you do, I guess, in that case, if you're want to, if you up to doing that. So um, I guess I'm gonna show you the team real quick and what we've done so far. We did just win a Super Bowl, like I just said, and that's why I have 145 trophies, which you get 5k, you get 13,000 coins out of it when you win a Super Bowl in amateur, so it's not worth it in my opinion. If you even get there, if you're like, oh, I'm in the Super Bowl, don't matter, it's trash. The rewards are garbage. What happened to 5,000 training back in the other Madden, Madden 19 or whatever? But yeah, we're rocking out the 84 on both sides of the ball. It's solid. I don't know how we're not like an 86 yet. Maybe it's because my lineman, yeah, my lineman, my fullback. So we're gonna start out with the left tackle, Ronnie Stanley, pre-order bonus. You know, I had an 80 over there, Taiwan or whatever. So we have him there, uh, 82, left guard, Joe Petonio, pulled him, Marquise Pouncey pulled him out of the free nap pack, out of the solos, worth it, 86, Brandon Brooks, pulled him, a goat, Lyle Collins, right tackle, 83, pulled him, I pulled most of these guys out of the, you, you know what I mean, or I just bought their power-ups and powered them up, Zach Ertz did the solos, rivals, um, receiver number one, Andre Johnson, I have him there because he's the highest overall receiver, duh, but I'll probably end up putting him in the slot, Odell at the one, Julio at the two, I think that's what I'm going to do. Because Odell does get tired quick. So we got Andre at the one. Finish the solos. Fully max out your level. Go do the rivals. Choose your captain, Eddie George Solo. Do that over and over and over and just redo it. That's how you get leveled up quickly. That's the quickest way to do it if you did not have EA access last week. So there's that. I got Odell at the slot. A beast. He has 88 juke move at receiver right now. It's the best in the game. Julio Jones, 6'3". A beast. A monster. 86 speed. A, the, the goat, man. My fullback is currently Mark Andrews because he's a 79 overall tight end, and I don't have a fullback. Quarterback, you already know, Lamar Jackson, pre-order bonus. Go look at his stats on someone else's account. He does have 89 speed, 88 or 89, I can't remember. Nick Chubb, the GOAT, 90 break tackle, 86 speed, insanely good. He's probably second best running back in the game behind Derrick Henry. It's probably Derrick Henry, Nick Chubb, CMC. Nope, CMC is pretty good. I don't know. Le'Veon for my uh, screen passes, Raheem Mostert for depth purposes. Russell Wilson uh, never plays unless they do a fake or something. I don't know. That's the offense. Moving to the defense is where it gets pretty crazy because I have some ballers. But this team, be dude, defense is very hard in this this, this game. So first we're going to do the edge rushers. On the right side, I'm starting uh, Aaron Donald at right end, edge rushing on the right side. I'm, I'm kind of running a 3-4 right now, a 3-4 with uh, Khalil Mack as a rushing Outside linebacker and Demario Davis is like a pass coverage linebacker. It's weird. It's like a split 3-4 like base defense. That's what I run. So I'm running Aaron Donald. Uh, the players that are on the field is Aaron Donald, Leroy Glover, Khalil Mack, and D-Law. D-Law's playing defensive end. Leroy Glover's playing D-tackle. Aaron Donald's playing right end. And we're rushing a linebacker, which is Khalil Mack. That's why I have two 87 linebackers plus. Because I see I just put him at middle linebacker. So I have them. Dude, go Leroy Glover for your captain. You need four D tackles anyway. I know Ines Williams can be cornerback to five depth purposes, but once you get a D tackle, you never have to worry about it ever again. Corners, 
Deion, Deion Sanders, Jalen Richard Sherman, Tredavious White, Pat Pete. Like, there's so many better options for corners than just N.A. Williams. Don't get me wrong. He's okay, he's okay, but he's short and he's slow. Do not go N.A. Williams. Believe me, go to Lord Glover. He gets sacks for days. He gets about average one and a half sacks, which is great for defensive tackle. Aaron Donald, if they run his way, a great run stopper. Definitely worth it. I'm, I'm actually going to sell him sooner than later because I'm getting my coins out of him. D-Law, uh, the loyalty promo, not promo, but the loyalty pack that comes out, I picked him up. He's always the go in that promo. I uh, think Limo Joseph, just in case I need some uh, run stopping goal line, he has 90 strength powered up. Got him there. Uh, slot corner, Richard Sherman, a beast in zone, super slow. That's why, I be, that's why he's in the slot and he plays zone only. Most of the time, unless late game situations, you run some man. But put him on the tight end. I don't know, something slow. Jalen Ramsey at the one. Don't have to question why he's at the one. Pat P playing the four. Comes in for a power return. Uh, doesn't really get on the field unless I run a uh, nickel defense, which is like four corners or three safeties, either one. Trey Davis White at the two. Don't really need to say why he's there. Well, why don't you have uh, Stephon Gilmore? He's the best. I don't care, dude. Trey Davis White's going to be a beast to this year. Underrated. Adrian Amos, a speed demon to put him in the box. He's not as good as Jamal Adams, which is coming to my team sooner than later. Jets theme team, a beast. Adrian Amos is a beast. Earl Thomas, uh, he's, he sells a lot. He sells. He's pretty slow, but you know what I mean? He just got released. Maybe he goes to the Jets. I will be so happy, but he's probably going to go to San Fran or Cowboys in, in that case. But if he goes to the Jets, we get Jets game. That's why I haven't powered up. Tomorrow Davis, 83. He gets to 86 powered up, but he's like 60K right now. I'm not trying to pay 60K for an 86, unless it's like Khalil Mack or Von Miller. Mo Lewis, middle linebacker number one. Coverage linebacker, decent speed, team captain. CJ Mosley at the two. Could be higher overall in real life, like 84, maybe power of 85, but you know what I mean? Gets the job done. Got Avery Williamson playing the three. Never sees the field unless the players are tired. Same with Sam Mills. Never sees the field ever. Having for depth purposes. Um, Khalil Mack and Aaron Donald are edge rushers pretty much. That's pretty much what I'm running. Special teams, garbage. Got Odell. Marquise Brown. Kicker turner, power turn, Odell, he's a beast. He's jukes like 88. He's a beast. Change of directions like an 80. It's so good. Third down and running back, Le'Veon, passing schemes. Andre Johnson, slot receiver. I told you I put him in the slot. Odell on the one, Julio at the two. See, slot receiver two. Power halfback, Nick Chubb, puts his head down, goes deep in there. Sub linebacker, Mo Lewis, Adrian Amos. Depends on what kind of packages I'm running. You know, rush left end, Kalomak, rush right end. Aaron Donna, rush to tackle, Laura Glover. Slot cornerback, Rich term. That's what I'm running. Team strategy, I'm running the Jets offense and defense. I'm probably going to switch to the Saints or the Steelers because they got more of a uh, zone run, pass heavy kind of offense. Right now, it's a power run. And don't get me wrong, it's pretty good. But I'd rather run a zone run offense and then go pick up maybe like a CMC or something. Zone run, pass option offense, more throwing to the running back. I mean, power run, it's a lot of screens, hit the gap, two-yard gains, which is good. You'll see me do that in the games, but you know what I mean? Jets, everything, you already know. Visuals don't matter. But that's pretty much the team we're running. You know, a bounced O, bounced E, and then everything else is all random. We're running, you know, Jets majority, I guess. But yeah, that's pretty much the team. I would say at every position, lineman, go the highest overall you can with the coins you have. Tight end, go George Kittle. <laughs> if you don't have George Kittle, you're garbage. Or go someone fast. Johnu Smith, uh... Gronk's always a good option. He's slow, though. Good run blocker. You can go Gronk, George Kittle. <sighs> Darren Waller is super fast, but he's super expensive. You want to go that route. Evan Ingram's always like 18K, but he's always like 82 speed. Great tight end. Receivers, Tyree Kill, John Ross, Marquise Brown, Odell. Those are pretty much like the people that I'd probably go for number one. If you have the coins, too, go pick up a Julio. He's always a great second option on top of the Odell I have. Running backs, CMC, Derek Henry, Nick Chubb. That's all you got to say. I would say Zeke too, but Zeke be selling sometimes. He does fight for yards though. He does fight for yards. He does that. He has the trait. I don't think Nick Chubb actually Nick Chubb does. He does it all the time. Lamar Jackson go for quarterback. Him Russell Wilson, or I'd say budget. Go some low speed like 70, 77 speed. I don't know something. Go um, Sean Watson. Sean Watson's always good. Fullback highest you can possibly go. You know I mean always get a get a fast running back on top of what you have. That's pretty much offensive suggestions. Defense, speed. It does not matter. Everything speed. Corners, speed. If, unless you're getting a really good team, just go everything speed. Defensive ends, get power move or finesse move, depending on what you're going to run. Like a speed concept or like a 4-4. Four, four, I don't know. Something random. 3-4, um, fast linebackers, good rushers. 4-3, three, 
two good run stoppers, defensive ends, great pass rushers. And the middle linebackers, fast. Go pick up Devin Bush, Devin Bush, Devin White, any of the Devins. They're all both like 83 speed plus. Um, Devin White's probably the move. Or go Jalen Smith. He's always a good option for the rivals promo. Straight safety, someone with good hit power and good speed. Landon Collins, um, Jamal Adams, they're both good in hit, hit power. Uh, Keanu Neal, always good players. Someone with speed, free safety, someone with speed. There's some team builders that have 90 plus speed, someone with speed. Corners, speed. Team builders, speed. Uh, maybe slot receiver, slot corner, I mean, um, go someone with good zone, something like that. I have Richard Sherman there, even though he's my best corner. I have him playing the third. Zone coverages, that's what I run most of the time. People say run man. Run man if you have good speed. Run zone if you don't have good speed. And get zone corners. That's exactly what you want to do. Because if you don't have good speed, you can't run man. They're just going to run past you. So, I don't know. I got Tredavious White because even though he's an alien 83, he's going to get upgrades. He's probably going to get a team of the week in like the next five weeks or whatever when the game starts. But, um, yeah, that's the suggestions. Kickers, get someone with above 80 kick power on both sides. And you don't have to worry about it ever again. They could be golds. My kickers, I think they have both 81, 82 kick power, I think. I don't know. Kicker turners, speed. That's all you need. I should probably put Marquise Brown and John Ross. I don't know. Speed. Long snapper does not matter. Kickoffs, kick power. But yeah, that's pretty much every suggestion I have. Um, I did make a list of about 300 players on Madden to start out with. But that's probably for another video. Maybe like tomorrow or something. I don't, it's a lot of players. Good budget beast players. But if you want to see some of a video like that, just just go watch the Xerxes or someone else. They already have the videos posted and better quality, better editing. You know what I mean? Just go watch them. That's not a plug or anything. That's just that's just simple facts. But yeah, I'm just gonna wait till I guess the Superstar promo comes out on Friday when the game fold comes out. Saturday Legends are coming out, so be stay tuned, man. If Darrell Rivas comes out, he's coming to the team. Ladanian Thomason, he's coming to the team. Uh, yeah, big name Jets players coming to the team. But um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you see some more videos like this, gameplays. I should have the yard coming out soon, you know, some yard gameplay. The yard is actually kind of boring, to be honest. It was super fun up front, and then, like, everyone just, like, blitzes, like, one play. I don't know. It's too hard to explain, but it kind of gets boring. It's fun to watch, though, for a bit, but that's that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see some more videos like this, just like I said, or the yard, franchise, draft, anything like that, show me in the comments below. Thank you for watching. If you made it to the end, and peace.